And Julie, can you just like briefly tell about yourself and, you know, your coaching? Yeah, I mean, uh, so uh, first of all, thanks for coming, everyone. And uh, I am just so thrilled to be the Brain Over Binge coach. I have been actually coaching for Catherine now for several weeks, and I'm working with lots of clients. Um, a very brief synopsis is that I struggled with uh, food, body, weight, eating disorders for 40 years of my life. I've seen it all, I've done it all, I've lived through it all, and I am out on the other side of it, and I am just beyond thrilled to be helping other people because nobody should be suffering from this man-made prison, self-made prison. Yeah, it's... So, um, yeah, so it's just, it's like my fervent passion and desire that everyone be free of this and you can all be free of it. And I tell every client, just borrow my belief in you until you get there with me. But for sure, That's for awesome. sure. Thank you so much. Okay, we have our first question. Yeah. So the question is, how do you disempower the significance of a quit date while being able to meet a personal need of making a date special? So uh, just about a quit date. And this is probably something that comes up in coaching. So how do you disempower the significance of like setting a date to quit? To quit binge eating? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is that is that what they're referring to? Yeah, well... Uh, being able to yeah. meet a personal need of making a date special, making a date special, like having a special quit date. You know, I guess if a client came to you with a question like that, kind of how would you coach them through it? Well, I'd actually say that a, I would, I would take the significance of the date out of it and just start right now. All of you just start right now. <laughs> There's no significance to a date. And actually you're all you've all been on the journey anyway so you've already started you're here you already started so just keep going you're here for a reason you're following Catherine so you obviously want this for yourself and I wouldn't pay too much attention to starting or stopping because you're always on your way yeah and I would just start right now yeah I love that I love that because I think there's a certain um need to feel like I guess you think the date is going to make it happen, but it doesn't have to do with the actual date or what day it is. What matters is, is your actions and how you're thinking and how you're yeah. changing your behaviors and your mindset. And, and it doesn't, that is any day of the week, any day of the year. So I, I love that, how you just keep going. Um, I saw a quote the other day that I think I said on the Tuesday Instagram Live that you're never starting over, you're starting from experience or something like that. So you're always getting more experience. Yeah. You're always moving Well. Forward. And as I teach my clients, the the you who's already free, which is all of you because you're just steps away from it, isn't concerned with when you started at all, yeah. doesn't remember that date at all, yeah. and also is everything that you've done along the way is taking you towards that version of yourself. So just start now. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, we have another question. I struggled with binge eating and emotional eating for years. I feel hopeless about it. Um, tell me how the one-on-one -on -one coaching works and is it possible to stop forever? That's a great question. That encompasses a yes. lot. Yes. Yes. So number one, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I assure you that Catherine has known me for a very long time and I often had thoughts like, I'm the special case here. It's been since I was 11 to, you know, for 40 years. There's no way my brain is broken. I promise you, nobody's brain is broken. You can all make this change for sure. That's the first thing. The second thing is in terms of how I work with clients, I think that was the second part of the question, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, how, how does one-on-one -on -one coaching work and is it possible to stop binging? What you answered. Yeah. Up. Yeah. yeah. And so, and so, um, in terms of one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's very unique to each client. So there's a series of questions that I ask clients to answer before their first session. And then I prepare very actively for that session, designing, uh, you know, strategies and tools and resources and, and how that's going to flow. And then, um, for clients who work with me every week, I do daily email coaching. So I am in touch with my clients every day. 
And I, I truly have designed my coaching to be what I needed and couldn't find anywhere else. Because, I, you know, I always laugh with Catherine about how I took her course so many times that I have it memorized. <laughs> and it's an amazing course, so you should all take it. But I needed that. I needed group coaching. I needed one-on-one -on -one coaching. Coaching changed my life, but it wasn't I needed all the inputs. And I needed all the support. And so I do try to provide that for my clients because it's really imperative. This is like life or death for many of us. Yeah. I like how you said it's individual because some people can just have the course and that that's fine and that works for them or even a book or, you know, another resource and that's fine. But some people need it at so many levels. So it's really about what works for you. And if you feel like that you need that extra support, someone to help you see where you're getting stuck because a lot of times you – when you're in it and when you're living it every day, it's hard to kind of take that step back and see where the issues are. So like having someone who's been there, having someone who can, can hear your concerns and help you kind of unwrap it all or uncover the areas that are holding you back. Um, one thing, Julie, I don't think you said is that we, in order to help people make it individual, we're just having people sign up for like one call at a time. So you mm -hmm. decide what you need. So exactly. you said daily email coaching, if they work with you, um, every week, the, the every week, what you mean is a Zoom call, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, and, and I have plenty of people who have come to me and, you know, they were further along and we had one or two sessions and we did a little tweaking. It's, you know, again, it's very individual and it's really up to you. You get to choose every time. Yeah, good. So, yeah, the, the call is 45 minutes. I just want to get through some of the details and then mm -hmm. um, the email coaching to follow up. Now, I do have a, a information page about this if anyone wants to. Oh, wait, to I, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt you, but somebody oh. just asked about neuroplasticity, and absolutely, yes. Oh, I, sure. I do all the neuroscience. Like, I, I'm constantly talking about that. Oh, so, great. So whoever just asked about that and seeing them. Oh, somebody said I'm awesome. Thank oh, you, that's Karen. so great. Julie's just <laughs> awesome to work with. I know sometimes I, don't, I can't. Read the comments to I stay focused, but I'm I glad you're pointing out. But yeah, let so me I'm just say to any you, Catherine, I just the, the other thing that I wanted to say to that person is that like I am also a meditation teacher, so I bring in mindfulness, I bring in everything. Mm -hmm. And for people who don't like mindfulness, I don't go there. Like I really work with each client very individually based on what they need. Yeah. And that's really what I love and a big reason that I, I have you working with the brain over binge um, approach because you do see that it's not a one size fits all thing. And, and a lot of times people tell me, okay, this resonates with me, but I'm, I'm not sure how to make it work. So that's kind of where you come in is helping someone make it work. So it looks like we have a lot of questions came in. So let me get to some of these. Okay. Sure. Um, how many sessions do you recommend? And that kind of goes back to what we just said. So maybe briefly touch on that again. Yeah. Again, I really, I, I don't have an answer. I do think that if you're feeling very, very stuck, I always encourage weekly coaching in the beginning to help get you some traction and really get that one-on-one -on -one support as well as the, the daily emailing with me to help move you forward and figure out the, the um, you know, tweaking things. That can be really helpful. The email coaching every day can be really helpful in the beginning. And then you see how you go. It's, I, I can't, there's no one size fits all. There just yeah. isn't. Absolutely. Okay, next one. Is it possible to have a trial session? And if so, what might this look like? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by trial session, but uh, you're welcome to have one session to try it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't, like, as far as, is, is it a, is there a free session offered? No, that's not the case at this time. Like, but the coaching mm -hmm. is, you know, you sign up, you, you pay for the, for the first coaching session, and then any one you need after that as you go. Okay, next is, does Julie see binging as an addiction? Does she work with, neuro oh, you, did you answer that? Does she work with neuroplasticity? Well, maybe did. address I the did. addiction part. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's a, pa a deeply ingrained pattern. And mm -hmm. no, I, I don't treat it as an addiction. I treat it as Catherine does that, you know, it's just a pattern in your brain. And your brains can be rewired at any point, yeah. even at, 50, 60. So, I mean, I have clients who are rewiring their brains at any age and, you know, and so I treat it in that way. Yeah, exactly. And I think addiction sometimes, you know, the term, everyone has a different definition and, and some people define habits as addictions. And, you know, I think that 
it makes sense what you said, like, you can rewire your brain no matter what you call it, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, and, and, and quite, and that's the other piece of this is that I don't actually get stuck in the, in the languaging. It's more about, uh, you know, expecting and allowing urges to, uh, to move through you. I mean, yeah. that's the bottom line is embracing the discomfort that's going to come. But on the other side, there's no more discomfort. And so. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, this one I think you'll be able to really address because you have, you used the brain over binge approach for a long time before, like you made gradual changes. It wasn't like an overnight thing. So this person asks, what have you been trying the brain over binge approach and it still doesn't seem to be working? Come and work with me. I mean, quite honestly, we can tweak it. I, you know, I don't have a great answer immediately. I just kept I, I used Catherine's approach and I needed more targeted support. I mean, that's what I say. Like Catherine's, Catherine's materials are amazing, but if you're only getting it at an intellectual level and you're not getting it, uh, you know, where you're actually seeing consistent change, that's where one-on-one -on -one coaching can be really, really helpful to move you along so that you're completely free of this, completely free. They and work in tandem. Yeah, the, the accountability too, I think, and like having someone supporting you, you know, and, and um, I'm, we talk about this in the podcast that's coming out, but it's not that the course was ever supposed to be like a replacement because for having someone there for you, talking to you, supporting you, it, it's, it's an addition, it's, you know, a supplement, an alternative, like the, the course is a great resource, but you may need more. And that's, that's where Julie comes in. So thank you for answering yeah. that. Yeah, and, and no shame in that. I mean, I needed a lot more, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know? I know, and it's so amazing like that. You, you're you in this place now where you're giving back to others after, you know, going through a lot of ups and downs because you would make a lot of progress, you know, and then, and then have a slip. But I, I feel like it's so inspiring that you never let it get you down. You never let it make you give, give up. You just kept going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone asked, now this is – gets back to like different options for people. Will you be discussing the upcoming summer group session during this call? I mean, this call is more about one-on-one -on -one coaching, but we are doing a group. Julie, do you want to kind of mention that briefly? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're doing a group. Catherine posted an email about it, I think. And we're going to be uh, talking more about it in the next two weeks leading up, to, uh, you know, in the podcast. And then we're actually going to be doing a zoom call where you can meet us and get more information about it. Um, but very briefly, it's going to be a 12 week, so a three month program, June, July, and August. And Catherine and I are going to be alternating weeks where we're doing group coaching, which is something I highly recommend as well. It's, it's a different kind of support, but it's also a very, a very impactful support. And you have the benefit of the group community. Um, so there'll be live coaching once a week for the group. There'll be written coaching through a private forum that is not on Facebook. Um, and you get lifetime access to Catherine's amazing class. So, yeah, definitely. So it's just about what works for you. If you're someone who really likes that one-on-one, -on -one, if you rather the community, we're just trying to bring a lot of options. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, how much does it cost? That's important. That's on the, the information page on my website. But Julie, can you just talk about that? The group program is... Um, the one-on-one, -on -one, I think. Oh, the one-on-one. -on -one. So each session is $180. And somebody else asked, I'll just catch this in here. Somebody else asked about booking multiple sessions or one at a time. And again, you book one at a time. I mean, you could book more than one at a time if you want to, but there's no obligation to book one at a time. It's, it's up to you. Again, it's up to you. For sure. And it's totally, like, it's so valuable. I just want to stress that, that, like, what you get and the support that Julie gives and the amount that she prepares for every call, like, yeah. I, she gets to know everyone. And that's what I love about having Julie is that she really, like, treats you like you are, I mean, like you're her only client, you know, and, like, you are everything. And I think that's that's really amazing. And, Julie, I really just can't say enough good things about you. Mm, thank you. Okay, next will be, what does, di what does dismissing actually mean? I don't know how to do it. Um, this isn't really specifically about coaching, but I think that you could speak to this a little about how you work with clients on this, because some people do have, 
they get stuck around this word dismissing. And I, I know you have an interesting perspective on that, a really great perspective on that, actually. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't use the word dismiss with my clients. I talk about allowing urges mm -hmm. and uh, allowing for the discomfort. And actually, I talk about expecting that discomfort to be there and allowing it. And when I work with my clients, I teach them how. And then it's a process. It doesn't happen instantly. So, you know, it certainly didn't happen for me instantly. And we talk all about what's going on in your brain and how to learn to expect and allow all uncomfortable emotions. And that, and that urges are about very strong desire, which is just a feeling in your body, and it actually moves through you. And as you learn to expect and allow urges, you also start learning to expect and allow other uncomfortable emotions. Mm -hmm. And so it's quite an important skill to learn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the way you talk about that. Because I think that the word dismiss, well, I, I, I still like the word because it, it um, indicates like that it's not valuable to you, that it's meaningless, that it's harmless. But a lot of people can think, well, then I need to feel like it doesn't bother me one bit. I need to feel like it's just, you know, some background noise that's not affecting me at all. But the truth is like, it can bring some discomfort. It can bring some that like desire, desire mm -hmm. that you were talking about. So if you think you need to like completely ignore it and pay no attention to it whatsoever, then any discomfort that you have, you know, could create some unnecessary stress. So I really like what you bring to the table here, like as far as having people embrace that discomfort and see it. I remember I used to tell you like, see it as an opportunity that you're yeah. changing your brain in a beneficial yeah. way. Well, and, and also, you know, the, the thing that we don't want to do, and, and uh, you know, again, this is where coaching comes in, is that, you know, dismissing can feel like resistance also, yeah. like that, like mm -hmm. pushing it away can feel like resistance, which is actually going to intensify it. Yeah. So sneak peek, but like, that's why sometimes they feel so overpowering because you're not expecting it and or you're, you're, you're having some resistance there. So. Yeah. And I think like back to the individual individuality thing, like people can call, call it what they want, like as far as how to get through exactly. the urges, like the goal is not to act, but how, right. what works for you in helping yourself, you know, deal totally. with the urges moving through you. So that makes sense. Okay. Next I'll get to the next question. I had a binge today and I'm struggling with building confidence that I can recover for real after a binge. Do you have any tips on how to motivate yourself to keep going? So kind of how would you work with a client on that? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, it's okay. It's just learning. You know, like there's nothing's gone wrong. It, you're absolutely capable of, of recovery. There's no question in my mind. There's never failure. There's just learning. So this was a learning moment. And you and number one, do not beat yourself up. No judgment, no shame. That take that out of the equation. You can you can dig in a little bit and say, you know, like what was going on before, what kind of thoughts were, were I having was I having before? And then the other piece is just keep remembering that the you who's free isn't gonna worry about the binges along the way because the you who's free knows like, oh, that was supposed to happen because I was supposed to learn something there. Mm -hmm. So like just lots of self-compassion, we've all been there. And, and again, and then the other thing is do whatever you can today to, to take great care of your body for the rest of the day. Take great care of yourself for the rest of the day. No punishment, no shame, no beating yourself up, no, com no, no compensating. Yes. Just when you get hungry again, you'll eat and use this as just a learning moment. I'm just stepping along and I needed to learn something here. I love that, like that you're just learning. That's awesome. Okay, the next question is, I found the book to be amazing and has very quickly helped me stop binging, but I'm struggling with stopping a diet mindset and having weight loss as a goal. Can coach, mm -hmm. How can coaching help with this? Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, like, amazing that you love the book and amazing awareness that you're seeing that you've got some diet mindset going on. The bottom line is, when you stop binging, your weight goes to where it's supposed to go. It's just math. Like, I don't need to get into that. And, you know, I, I always teach my clients to just take weight out of the equation. Just take it out of the equation. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, you make recovery your top priority. The bottom line is when you have non-weight motivators, you get to experience them now, today. Energy, mood, digestion, health, uh, 
relationships, being in your integrity, whatever it is for you, get really clear on what those things are. And then you need to really savor them, really celebrate them every single day. Notice, because I didn't binge, I'm in a better mood. I'm hungry for my meals. I can digest my food. I can have a good conversation and be present. I don't have any food noise today, whatever it is. But really get clear on those things and savor those things. And then when you have an urge and you allow it, celebrate every single time. So, okay, I'm like, there you go. That's awesome. And <laughs> someone just said, Julie gives 110% plus more. I'm grateful. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Julie's amazing. So happy to hear your voice. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of things. Mariella, Mariella. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, sorry. Let's see. Julie, did you receive conventional therapy any moment of your life? Did I ever? Did I receive ever have conven receive conventional? I, I I did. Why? Well, yes. I mean, one one piece of my story is that I am also a widow, and you know, and with forty years of eating disorders, yes, I was definitely someone who got therapy mm -hmm. for sure. Um, yeah. Like, what about for binging? Like, do you feel like that was part of your therapy training? for binging? I, yeah. I, I did. I did. I mean, when I was younger, mm -hmm. I was in when I was much younger, like, like, uh, in college, I, I was in therapy with, you know, for eating disorders, I was in group programs for eating disorders, they never quite worked. Um, for me personally, and, and then later in life, I saw therapists for eating disorders. And then had therapists where we addressed it. So yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think everyone has, you know, their own journey and it's, it's about what works for you. And again, exactly. like, therapy is exactly. not useful at all. Like we're providing, you know, something that could be in addition to therapy or in, you know, depending on what you need. Exactly. And, and, and I always say that it's, it's about finding your own formula. Like I am not the expert. I am I am sharing tools and there to support you and help you see your mind and help you tweak things and find the things, you know, learning to honor yourself and figuring because you are the best expert on you and what you need. And so just helping you find those things. Yeah. There no, there are no have to's here ever. Like it's never you have to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just check and see what I haven't answered. I think this might be. Now, I have seen in the comments some people asking about the summer group. And I will just say that um, you will, if you're on my email list, which if you're not, you can join on my website, brainoverbinge.com. But you will get a notification about a Zoom call that we're going to do um, totally free, you know, just to talk about the group, to meet us, to kind of do what we're doing today, but about the group. Yeah. So just look in yeah. your email for that. Um, it's going to be June 2nd. I don't have it with me right now, but just join the email list and you'll be notified. And I'll also post about it on Instagram as well. So as it gets yeah. closer, just know that it's going to be that first week of June to learn more about the group. And you can also yeah. go to brainoverbinge.com slash group forward slash group. And you, you can learn more information there too. But we just wanted to talk more about the one-on-one -on -one coaching today. Yeah. Okay. I lost 60 pounds, but started binging again once at that goal. I've gained back some of the weight. Would you agree that it's vital to get binge eating under control to maintain a um, substantial weight loss? Yes. <laughs> it's vital to get binge eating out of your life to maintain life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I just going to say that. So, yes. And, and it's just math that if you don't binge, your body's going to regulate the way that it should. Yeah. And, like, trusting so, your body to do that. Yeah. Okay, this is a little related. Do you also give nutritional support or advice? I'm finding it hard to determine how much to eat, what to eat without this being triggering. So how do you work as far as nutrition? Yeah, that's a great question. And again, I, you know, uh, I also was a nutrition major many, many, many years ago in college uh, I, for a short phase of time. And I have clients who eat in all kinds of ways. Again, like I, I support and encourage you to find your own formula, the best way of eating that's going to be nourishing and satiating for you. And so that's very different for each client. But I do have a lot of knowledge about nutrition and I help support lots of different ways. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I just from working with you, like when you were in the course, I know like you have so much nutrition knowledge for sure. And that you've applied to yourself to be able to find, like you yeah. said, your, your formula, and then you help other yeah. people find their own formula. 
Um, yeah, someone said, I found working with Julie helped me much more than with my therapist, much more targeted and also much more fun. I Aww, love that. <laughs> yeah, the fun part. That's great. Can you address that yes. a little bit? How do you make Oh, it? yeah. I have so much fun with my clients. <laughs> you know, this can be such a heavy thing, but we're all, I mean, look, we go deep and there's a lot of processing emotions, but there's also laughter. And, you know, with the emails, you know, we really get to know each other. It's a very, very special relationship. And, and so... That's awesome. Yeah. That's so great. I yeah. love that because I, I tend to be like more serious. Like, I don't know. I'm just, that's just how I am. And I love that you bring some fun into this and you know, oh, I'm yeah. sure we'll bring some of that into the group as well. Yeah. It's about enjoying life, right? It's about, it's about being free and enjoying life. And I'm going to add this. If you don't enjoy it along the way, you know, you have to enjoy the journey. So I really, like, that's the whole piece of, like, I, have, I start every call with every client about celebrating wins and helping you find those wins because you have to enjoy it all along the way. There's so much celebrating that I do with my clients. That's a key piece of this, <clears throat> which is also how you reinforce new neural pathways. So it's brain science coupled with fun. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, because that's why we're stopping binging. I mean, not that all of life is going to be fun after that, but you have to know what the, your reason for stopping, your why, your what you want to live for, you know, why you want this out of your life. So that's great that you help people find that. Um, that's all the questions that, well, that we have time for and that I see. So, you know, if we missed your question, like if you posted it in the comments, that's all I see in the question queue. But um, you can learn more go to brainoverbinge.com and you can see coaching in the main menu and just click on that tab and under there you, you'll see group coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching so the one-on-one -on -one coaching yeah. learn more about julie and the group as well um someone just asked what's the name of the book this is a uh, brain over binge is the name of the book and I also have the brain over binge recovery guide so great. i really appreciate everyone coming on today this has been really yeah. great Julie, do you have any kind of final thoughts or anything to tell? I, I mean, no, I'm just so grateful you were all here. And uh, thanks to my clients who were giving me shout outs. I, <laughs> I feel all the love. And, you know, if you have more questions, I don't have a book, Eileen. It's Catherine's book. I'm oh, the yeah. Sorry Over Binge that. Coach. <laughs> yeah. And Catherine is the famous author and helper of millions. And uh, yeah, so just so much gratitude for you all showing up in the middle of your day coming here and I'll just repeat this if you're here it's because you want to be free of this problem and you're already free you just don't know it yet and you can borrow my belief in you I promise that if I can do it any of you can do it and so and and if you if you do look on at the site and you see there's an email address for me so if you have more questions you can always email me I'm very accessible so awesome. Well, thank you so much, Julie. And I appreciate everyone coming yeah. on. You all had amazing questions. And yeah, we Indeed. look forward to, you know, telling you more. And hopefully some of you will want to work with Julie as well. Bye. Okay, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.